Uh, thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I'll pick it up from where Honorable Kagomba has uh, uh, stopped from. And um, uh, while holding brief for uh, Honorable Majority Leader, I want to ask the CS to come clear on uh, the question that uh, the Honorable Majority Leader asked on the aquatic sports, and particularly the question uh, uh, Roman 2C, where he required him to give an undertaking that uh, Kenya will participate in the World Aquatic Event that is scheduled on, on, uh, in February 2024 in Doha, Qatar, and the 2024 Summer Olympics in Paris, France. Honorable Speaker, he has stated that uh, there are two factions that have taken each other to court uh, in the, on the issue of the Stabilization Committee that was established on 28 June 2022. But he hasn't come out clear on whether the uh, the ministry is making effort, possibly even to in, invoke the alternative uh, dispute resolution mechanism, at least for the purposes of, uh, you know, hastening this process to make sure that these particular teams participate in the 2024 Summer Olympics and uh, the February 2024, uh, uh, you know, events that are scheduled there. What measures have they taken? Have they been involved? Have they enjoying themselves in the case that is in the High Court? That is a question, Mr. Speaker. Thanks. Uh, Honorable Ben Suda. <laughs> now, thank you, Madam Speaker, for giving this opportunity. First and foremost, allow me to appreciate that the CS was appointed a youthful and, so far as I know him, an intelligent young man who must deliver and champion the youth sports, everything that is under his docket. From the discussion since I listened, the preliminary of the introduction of the majority leader. A lot could be alluded by the fact that Honorable Kajuang mentioned that there were some disorders which needs to be put to order. I had a lot of emphasis on the roles of the majority leader directed to the CS. To me, that was not fair at this juncture because that was not the purpose as to why he was called. Secondly, Madam Speaker, there was also a mention of reckless talks. I was dis disappointed as a professional teacher, when the children are on the gallery and I hear a senior member of parliament talking about, I don't care what is in the social media. Very unfortunate for elected leaders. That must be corrected to all of us. Number three, from the discussions which the CS has been asked, it is mandatory that the CS has to table the records and reports on the framework of his work in terms of procurement, in terms of the the activities taking place within the country and outside the country and align it to the budget to the committee of sports so that issues are verified i was also seeing a case whereby the deputy speaker gave out the photos of pictures of adidas i don't know nikes i don't know what we cannot verify that madam speaker i want to remember one time when honorable latinda molo gave out a report of signed documents this very house was disapproved and said that we cannot accept that it is not authentic and so even the adidas photos are not authentic until the committee for sports summons the, the cs for sports to sit before them one thing that i'm talented madam speaker is psychology i want to say that the discussion i'm seeing here is tailored towards crucifixion even jesus was told he claims his god jesus was told he claims his word i think we are leaders and we are mature. Please, I'm now asking my Honorable question. Honorable Bensuda, Honorable Bensuda, you are now, no, you are now debating. If, no, you are now debating. I will give you 30 seconds if you have a question. Ask the question. Very fast. And one second, I'll ask three questions. What framework do you have for the female gender of this country in active participation of sports, not necessarily in, uh, uh, international? Two, I come from the Lake Region in Homer Bay County. We are not only talking about swimming, we are boat racing. And I want the CS to tell us what plans he has for uh, talent nurturing because this country is working towards youth empowerment. What are we doing on activities along the lake to ensure that through your ministry, oh, that youth that are empowered? Talent Ayala is working, come on board and work with the Ministry of Women, right? Probably count. <laughs> Order members, Order members, we must make progress and we will close this session. CS, Honorable Cabinet Secretary, 